So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Just given the length of the question, right? Translate word problem questions are typically four plus or four or more lines long. And all it means is that we don't want to read, you don't want to read the entire question all at once. You want to read it a sentence at a time, pausing between each sentence to make sure you understood what you just read and making sure that you give yourself a chance to write down any quantitative information from the question before continuing with the reading. So this question says the 35 member history club is meeting to choose a student government representative. So I'm just going to write down HC for history club and I'm going to put down that they have 35 members. Sentence two, the members decide that the representative who will be chosen at random cannot be any of the three officers of the club. So there are three officers, which means, right, which means there are 32 non-officers. And the sentence is telling us that from the 32, we're going to choose um, three, no, we're going to choose a representative. Representative comes out of those 32. Okay, next question says, what is the probability that Hiroko, who is a member of the club, but not an officer, so Hiroko is one of these 32, who is a member of the club, not an officer, will be chosen? Well, the only chance, so Hiroko is a single person, right? So anytime we see the word probability, so I want to bring your attention to this because it shows up on this test quite often. Probability, that word, the use of that word on this test will always mean what you want or you'll always be able to answer the question by determining a fraction where the numerator is the number that represents what you want and the denominator is the number that represents the total that you're choosing from. So what do I want? Well, I want Hiroko to be the representative. How many Hirokos are there in the 32 non-officers that are part of this club? Well, there's only one Hiroko. And how many total people, right? If I'm closing my eyes and randomly choosing from those 32 people, well, the total number of people I'm choosing from is 32. So the probability that Hiroko is chosen is one out of 32, and therefore the correct answer is choice K.